Hi, welcome to Mr. King Chemistry. So today we are going to talk about the differences between alkane and alkene because I know a lot of you, okay, you are quite confused. So what's the major differences between both and how can I differentiate both from each other? So today I'm going to share with you guys so basically we can differentiate both of these compounds based on few components. Okay, based on few aspects. So for example, you know that this is alkane this is okay so basically the very first things that we can differentiate both is basically based on the um okay based on the general formula so basically the general formula for alkene is cnh2n plus 2 alkene cnh2n then next will be the name huh. how do we name the compound so basically for every alkene compound the name basically end with a and e for alkene end with e and e then um, to make it easier okay so other than name and that will be what will be the first compound in the homologous series of so the very first compound in the homologous series of alkane is basically methane okay whereas the first compound for alkane is ethane right this is because uh, in alkane you need at least two carbon to form a double bond that's why okay the very first compound is ethane okay with two carbon atoms Next will be based on the uh, ah, saturation. Okay, so LK remember it is saturated. Okay, saturated S A A saturated. Then this will be unsaturated. It is unsaturated because of the uh, because of the presence of double bond. So double bond is present in LK. So that's double bond. Okay, LK there's no double bond. There's only single bond between the carbon right then moving on to some major chemical properties okay so for example in terms of substitution reaction huh. so basically substitution reaction only present in alkane okay it's not possible in alkane and also always remember substitution reaction will only happens when there is uv light yeah so always remember when there's no uv light there will never be any substitution reaction occurs in okay all right mm -hmm. then next uh, next in terms of addition reaction hmm. Hmm. addition reaction so we know that alkane it is already saturated so therefore it is not possible to have addition reaction okay alkane unsaturated so there will be addition reaction and there are basically three types of addition reaction remember the one is hydrogenation where you add hydrogen another halogenation uh, where you add halogen for example br2 cl2 Okay, another Q will be hydration. Okay, where you add water. Okay, ah, so basically, how can you differentiate alkane from alkane? Ah, so basically, there's a popular test where you can carry out in order to differentiate them. Okay, so this is what you call the test. Ah, uh, mm, test. Okay, how can you test? Okay, so basically, you test using halogen. Okay, it's either you test with Cl2 or Br2. Okay, so remember, when alkane react with Cl2 or Br2, there'll be no reaction, isn't it? So when there's no reaction, so that, uh, therefore there'll be no any changes. So, uh, color remains the same. Okay, so if you test with Cl2, it will remain yellow. If you test with Br2, it will remain brown right but if you test with alkane there will be color changes okay it will turn into colorless 
because the halogen itself it will react with the alkane to form a compound. Okay, so for example, if you test with Cl2, okay, it will turn from yellow to colorless. If you test with Br2, it will turn from brown into colorless. Okay, so basically this is a important test okay, where you can carry out in order to differentiate alkane from alkene. Right, so far so good guys. So basically this is the major differences between alkene and alkene and also the test where you can carry out in order to differentiate both of them. Right, so that's all for today. Thank you. Alright, that's all for today. Thank you. Jiayu.